Just vibing. It's a vibe, you know. Shows a vibe. It's a vibe. What is good? The vibe. The vibe is good. How you doing today, Jay Wayne? What's up? Got your green heart on. Hmm. Strong organization. Good organization. Teaching doing after the Lord's school work. kids how to grow vegetables. Wish someone would taught me how to grow vegetable. Maybe I'd be down to eat more of them. Hmm. Takes Try a while. Try to eat more veggies. Yeah. Gotta eat your veggies, kids. Gotta eat your veggies. You have your, you have your veggies today, little buddy? <laughs> That's your boy, uh... Robert Aiken. Shout out to Robert Aiken. I used to come in every day to, uh... I used to valet in my younger years, and he was an, an older, uh, retired bodybuilder. He, he, had a, he had a book he was writing, right? Yeah, a story, he, a screenplay. A screenplay. He was, he was very... He's from Brooklyn, maybe in his 40s back then, and he's like, Yo, little case! <laughs> you have your cereal today, little buddy? <laughs> What was the screenplay going to be about? It was uh, about body build, bodybuilding, fr- friendship, friendship, loyalty, and chasing your dreams, bodybuilding, and following your dreams. So Rocky, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he had any friends though. Yeah, I don't know. Yo, Adrian. Anyway, so. it's over, Rocky. Give me something. To- <laughs> Give me something to drink. Hey, yo, wait. I got you this turtle. All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, we have just done some uh, cheap stuff, and now we, you know we passed over Logan Thomas and Bobby Tunyon in the in the cheap stuff. We didn't pass. Mentioned we we him. mentioned them, but we want to do want to give them their own segment. We just want to break this down, and we're going to call this one maybe I don't know uh, the Forgotten Elites. Ooh, question mark? Should I said the Forgotten Elites? <laughs> I have a question. What do you got? You're electric. Is that, that's not a question. You're electric. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The forgotten so, elites, huh? So yeah, we, because, man, not enough respect for especially Logan Thomas. I get no respect. Um, so Logan Thomas, Bob Tunyon, Big Bobby T. Um, Logan Thomas, tight end three last year. Bobby Tunyon, tight end five last year. Yeah, I got some stats. Boom. I got some straight facts for straight you. Straight facts. Well, they're, See, almost, three last they're year. almost straight facts. That ADP is from July, which mm. just changed over on DLF. So you one tell a lie. Oh, five. That's I, I'm just here. I'm just an honesty broker. Uh, just <laughs> telling the truth because uh, we don't ever lie. We're not scared to say anything on here. Never scared. Um, if you're scared by a dog, <laughs> as the great Dan Patrick would say. Oh, does he? Yeah. So. We've been preaching dog. some Logan Thomas. Big Co's been a big Logan Thomas guy for a long time. Come on, you. Not going not gonna to say uh, we've been on Bob Tunyon for any length of time because I don't know anybody who was. Just kind of came out of nowhere and really helped some people out. Probably get to the playoffs last year. Right. Um, so, you know, Logan Thomas, again, tight end three last year. And we're talking tight end premium here points. So he had 212.6 points. That would be good for... Uh, wide receiver 24 um, and DLF has him at 105 not the 115 that Jay Wayne had on his card well that was from July so right. it wasn't necessarily not straight it's, facts that's fair I like the litigation uh, but still a value and it should be referenced that that ADP that we're referencing is not tight end premium it's fair so there but, could be a little bump but we've been doing plenty of tight end premium work whether it's redraft or or non-redraft, and we've done tons throughout the offseason, and he's perennially in the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th round. Uh, a- a- any of those, and we're, do- we're always tight end premium over here. Uh, so basically, 50 wide receivers go off the board before him, and he was a top 24 wide receiver. Now I get it. You know, he's a tight end. I don't get and, it. And, you know, you got to take your shots on receivers, and it's all volatile, and, and, and he could he could go. But he is I mean, a little old, but like like referenced in the, in the slide, he just got a three-year contract. Just got a three-year contract. Freshy off Not a whole thing. lot of miles. New to the position. Starting to really excel. Rivera said a light bulb went off at one point last year. He was super strong after week six. I believe the tight end threes from week six on. Uh, just very, very strong. 35 running backs go off the board before him so just but 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 what what was his score equated to last year the rb 
11. Uh, yeah, he would have been the he RB. He was an RB1 last would have year been in the your RB lineup. 11, um, I believe. So he, was an R- he scored like an RB1 last year. Yeah, just just absolutely slayed it. Um, and look, I get it. You know, I don't. There's. He's uh, old. That's it. He, he's old. And, and Fitzpatrick I, I feel doesn't like, have a great history with tight ends, but like, who has he really I, had? Right. I feel like if he didn't have Logan Thomas, he's one of those guys that you just don't know how good he was. Right. You um, had to have had him. And I get it. You had Curtis Samuel. You get the rookie, Diami Brown. You have Adam Humphreys as a wild card. Terry's one of the better wide receivers in the league. So I can understand, you know, maybe thinking it's going to be tough to replicate that season. But I mean, Samuel's missed time here. Brown's a rookie. You know, again, Humphreys maybe a little bit of a wild card. He'll probably factor in somewhere, but I just think that the, Ritzy Fitzy is going to target the talent, and I think the talent is Logan Thomas and uh, he's F- definitely Terry, Terry McLaurin. Not to say that Curtis Samuel isn't the talent, but already a little bit behind the eight ball, building rapport and doing all those things. So I think there's plenty of room for Logan Thomas to eat this offense. Check down Charlie last year with Al- with Alex Smith really brought Logan Thomas to life. So just imagine what could be happening with a guy who takes a little more risk. It's probably going to move the ball a little better. They're probably going to be a higher scoring offense uh, this year. Uh, And I think this is obviously the best quarterback that anybody on this offense has ever had Mm -hmm. uh, as far as Ryan Fitzpatrick goes. So I think that we, you know, even if he isn't tight end three, if he's tight end five, look great. If you want to say he's due for some regression or he's going to regress towards the mean or something, you know, trying to sound smart like that, I I guess I get it. But it's built in. Right. You're not drafting him as a tight end three or the tight end five, six, seven, eight. He's tight end nine off the board, which I think in Dynasty is properly rated after Goddard. Right. I think that's when I I would take Logan Thomas. But like there's so many more non tight end guys that are going ahead of him. Yeah. I'd I'd rather have Logan Thomas. Yeah. So it's probably, you know, I don't know, six, maybe tight end six, seven. I don't know. Tight end seven, maybe I would maybe have him at tight end eight. So yeah, you pretty take close him to, over Goddard. Well, I mean, it's it's the the, the top three, right? Mm-hmm. And then Andrews, Hawk, and, Fant. Yeah, I could throw a fan in there. Goddard. Goddard. Yeah. Okay. So fair enough. Properly rated as the tight end. I take off him over Gasecki. A hundred percent. I'm taking him over Gasecki. Let and me. This get is him. Dynasty. We're right. We're talking about right now, but even either way. And redraft, redraft yeah, it's the same sure. thing. He's still he's still pretty cheap. He was it was a higher redraft, which that was accurate for for August was eighty six in redraft, and that's also not tied in premium, but still a fair amount of dudes going ahead of him who I'd rather have Logan Thomas over. A hundred a hundred percent. Like I said, there's there's fifty receivers going before him and thirty six running thirty five running backs. Running backs, you know, the positional scarcity. There's only so many. It feels thin. You know, so I, I can understand it a little bit and I get it. You're taking your shots on these receivers and you don't want to take Logan Thomas because there could be a little bit of volatility. But I, I think he's going to be just fine. I think he's going to see plenty of volume, which is the name of the game and tight end premium. And he could see, you know, the, the touchdowns were good last year, but he, he could be a very huge red zone threat for them. And I, like I said, they haven't seen anybody like Ryan Fitzpatrick over there. Now he's he's going to be up and down with taking too much risk and having some bad games here and there. But I mean, what tight end doesn't have a little bit of up and down and you know even with the up and he uh logan thomas had a couple of bumps in the road last year and still was the tight end three and and tight end premium and outscored uh you know was a top 24 wide receiver uh in tight end premium so yeah even if i already have a good tight end i'm trying to get him to flex oh, 100%, in tight end premium and 100%. if you miss out on one of the other tight ends I absolutely have to have Logan Thomas yeah, and that's, and that's probably going to be my target in redraft is to just punt and, and make sure I get Logan Thomas that's, and I'll reach a little bit even in I'll reach in dynasty and redraft for Logan Thomas like like an a round too early exactly to guarantee yeah. that I you, get him you want to go ahead and reach up a round early ninth round eighth right. round to go ahead and secure your Logan Thomas you because can't I think miss. He's, he's just now like he was a quarterback. He's just now figuring out the goddamn position. Uh, so, you know, if you're going to say that he could regress, well, he's also going to get better as a player. Like, he hasn't been playing this position, so he has room to grow and get better. I'll consent that the stats might regress, but it's built into the ADP. It's you don't, You're not buying Logan Thomas of last year, and that's why it's a value. Because yeah. we're not having to buy be the Terry, Logan Thomas of last gonna year. It's going to be Logan, and then it's going to be Curtis. 
And then, you know, obviously, you know, there was a ton of running back targets last year with check down Charlie as, as Alex Smith. Maybe there's not quite as many running back targets this year, but Gibson's going to get most of those. So go ahead and let's lock hope. that guy up. Let's hope. Yeah. All right. Didn't play any third down snaps. So let's go to the, the second game. half of this equation. Uh, Big Bobby T, Robert Tunyon. Uh, easily could be a league winner for you last year. Probably took you to the playoffs, like I said. Tight end five last year. There it is. Aaron Rodgers comes back. Um, he has an ADP of, of uh, 125. Now, that was July. It's up, I think, 122. 10 spots. 122. It's up three spots. 122. All Correct. Right. Yeah, straight facts. Got to keep the facts straight. <laughs> um. So unrestricted free agent next year, too. That's a little caveat. I didn't. Uh, right. So I definitely uh, don't hate that at all. You get Rodgers for a year. Rodgers, you know, it. I don't know what he's going to do. Nobody really does. If he's a Packer for life, I would assume Tunyon comes back and maybe Tunyon comes back with love. Love didn't look absolutely horrendous in his first debut there. Looked like he could be serviceable. And Tunyon looked like he is ready to be a dude in this league and especially with Aaron Rodgers I don't care if you're giving me one year with Tunyon and Aaron Rodgers I'll take it it's built into where you're drafting him at 122 and then he's not going to be dead after that he's still going to be a decent uh tight end and again tight end five last year yeah only 27 and you know and the in the land of tight ends that's just starting to get into the prime right um Robert Tunyon I mean Kelsey's 31 and still being drafted in the first round so Take that for what you want. I mean, he's Kelsey, but uh, Tunyon had 202.6 points last year. That would be good for wide receiver 28. Um, and he would have been uh, RB 15. Uh, so you're just, again, there's good value baked right into the Tunyon price here. And again, the, the ADP might be slightly off because of the non-premium. And, and maybe the Aaron Rodgers factor isn't 100% into this bump. Um, because it is, you know, a little lagging behind as far as the way the ADPs work. And as they get posted, they're, you know, usually a little bit behind of what's currently going on. Uh, but again, we have been doing countless redraft, even tight end premium. And Tunyon consistently goes in rounds nine through 11. I think he's an absolute huge value in redraft and a huge value in dynasty. Uh, if you don't want to take the risk in dynasty, fine, but he's going to be up there with the elite tight ends this year, in my opinion. And in redraft, you absolutely have to get Robert Tunyon, especially if you don't get Logan Thomas. I'm fine. I don't want to miss on those two guys as a tight end and tight end premium, uh, Love it. Redraft or or dynasty, really. Was so. already eyeing up Tanyan because of the year he had last year, but there was hesitancy. It was a bit of a gamble because you didn't know what was going to happen with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is back. It's a one-year thing. They're both basically on one-year deals, and he'll have new life next year. So even if, uh, you know, he could go somewhere awesome that – Blows his ADP through the roof, or he could stay there, which would be decent. Rodgers wants men's fences, wants to come back as a Packer, play another two or three years, and and Big Bobby T gets a little little extension. I could I could see that happening. That seems least likely. I don't think Rodgers is necessarily staying. If but, they win the Super Bowl, that's listen, the only reason I could see Rodgers coming back is if they win. If the Rodgers Super Bowl. stays, and he wants Tunyon, Tunyon's coming back after all this to do that just went down. If he wants Tunyon to be on that team and Devontae Adams to be on that team and they want to bring both of those guys and he wants to bring both of those guys back, you bet your ass they're bringing those guys back. They're not going to do all this ridiculousness and not bring back the guys Aaron Rodgers wants to bring back at this point in time. They're going to have to go very deep so, into the playoffs. They're going to have to at least repeat what they did last year. And the year before. Yeah. So they're ready to go. But Tunyon, Logan Thomas, forgotten elites possibly. I want them on my team. I'm advising you to go get as much as you can. Redraft or Dynasty. Don't really care. Let me get them. They're just screaming values right now and, and could easily give you a positional advantage week in, week out, and uh, an advantage to get into them playoffs, and then anything's possible after that. If it's tight end premium, I'll take them no matter what I've already done with my team. Like you said, where they're at. Go and up around not, early. Get them in the eighth. Get them in the eighth. And if I don't have a tight end already, I need one of these right. guys. Got to get one. Especially in redraft. And, and I'm, I'm down in dynasty. Even if too. I have one. Like, Bo, flexing out Logan Thomas last year as a wide receiver 24. Right. Come on, man. And in redraft, the, it's hard to get trades done sometimes in redraft. If you have two good tight ends, you can use one of those as a piece to upgrade another skill position. And so I like, I, I like trying to find a second stud tight end later on and these guys fit that profile and if you take a high one you can get one of these other guys so big bobby t and and 
L Dog T. I don't know. It's just Logan Logan Thomas. Appreciate you guys. Let me get that subby. Let me get that scribey. And uh, we'll catch you next time.